Introducing the all-new reporting dashboard inside Friend Forms. It's designed to help you know which forms perform best and get the most engagement or how payments are trending. Today, I'm here to take you on a complete walkthrough of the reporting dashboard. Explore every tab, look at the key metrics so that you can make smarter data-driven decisions for your business without hesitation. Let's start from the report dashboard. You can think of it as a central hub for your form data. Well, the dashboard is divided into three main sections. Every section is backed by in-depth metrics and interactive charts, making it simple to transform raw form data into actionable insights. At the top of the reports page, you will find global filters that shape all the charts below. With all forms drop down, you can either see the big picture across every form or zoom in on just one. And with the date range filter, you decide the time frame. Set your own custom dates for full control or go with presets like last six months or last year as per your needs. Next to the filters, there's a handy download button. Whether you are creating a monthly report for your client or just keeping a backup, you can easily share the data and keep it organized outside WordPress. Now let's move on to each section to explore the specific metrics and insights they provide. First overview tab, it loads as the starting point, featuring four core metrics up front. This gives you a quick summary of the essential activity of your form. For example, spam submissions shows you how many entries got flagged automatically. So you don't have to waste time sorting through junk. Right beside it, unread submissions. It tells you exactly how many new entries are waiting for your attention. All right, it's time to get deep into the graph and charts. In the first place, you will notice the overview chart where both submissions and payments are plotted over time. And it's simple to switch between views. Submission data shows you everything from spam and unread entries uh, to read and trust ones. While payments gives you a full breakdown of paid, pending, and refunded along with the total revenue. And if you just want to check a specific one, simply hide the others to get a clean view. Plus, you can choose whether to see it all in a bar chart or a line chart. It depends on how you actually like to see the data. Well, have you ever noticed how many started forms that were not completed? If not, the completion rate charts makes it easy to see this. You can then analyze the incomplete forms and see what might be causing users to abandon them. Right below that, you have a section that is designed to visualize the geographic origin of your form submissions on a world map. All you need to do is use the slider to see which countries have the most and the least submissions. The top performing forms graph highlights your most effective forms. Use the tab options to view the rankings by submissions, views, or payments. Just make sure the disabled form analytics option is turned off from global settings. Otherwise, views will not appear in the report dashboard. Now, analyze this heatmap grid. It lets you see when your user is most active. Days run across the rows, hours down the columns, and darker blocks means more submissions. Also, hover your cursor over any block to see exactly how many form submissions occurred along with the day and time. You can even toggle between AM and PM to focus on the specific time period. This helps you to understand the user's engagement patterns. Next up are the API logs, which let you monitor the operational status of all your third-party integrations. You can filter the view by success, processing, or failed to quickly see how everything is performing. Let me show you how it works with a real example. We have a video on convert your community into a paid membership site, uh, link in the description below. Uh, if you watch this video, then you know how to take payments through Flint Forms for your community. But how do you know which payment forms from which community are actually generating you the most money? Because going through the individual form is a headache if you have thousands of forms. The report dashboard made it easy for you. If I move to the payments tab from the top and scroll to the payment analysis by form table, uh, then you will get the full picture. This table breaks down your revenue by individual form. If you are taking payments for your paid community through Fluent Community and Fluent Forms integration, this gives you a lot of freedom to gain insight into your paid community's growth. You can also use the drop down in the top right corner to analyze payments by payment method uh, to understand which payment gateways your customers are using. Payment type actually categorize your payment data based on the payment model, uh, such as one-time payment. By the way, there are more in the payments tab. At the top, you have got four summary cards that give you a quick snapshot of your financial activity for the selected period. Underneath, the payment charts help you to visualize your payments trends over time. 
Now, if you have a service-based business and you want to see the monthly income, then the Fluent Form subscription chart is the easiest way to track this over time. And the transaction chart provides a summary of all transactions, whether it's recurring or one-time payments. So now you have a clear idea of how this dashboard gives you the financial insights you need to manage and improve your payment forms. It's time to move on the submission tab, and it's all about how users interact with your forms. At the top, you have summary cards for total submissions, uh, read, unread, spam, and overall read rate. It provides a detailed look at the performance and status of your form entries. And it's even easier when you see those in a bar graph. This helps you see which days had the most activity and the status of those entries. And the cool part, you can group submissions by form, source, email, country, or date. So if you want to know which country is sending the most responses or which form gets submissions from a specific source, it's all there. You don't need to go through any individual forms to check these details. That's the full tour of the reports dashboard in Fluent Forms. Get your every form's data in one centralized place. Uh, now you can stop guessing and actually see which forms are working, where the revenue is coming from, and how your users are engaging. So go ahead, explore it, and I'm pretty sure you will never look at the form data the same way again. See you in the next video.